Um, what was this? Uh, how's it been you back at the Lions? Yeah, well, um, it's awesome being back, I must say. Um, I'm not regretting one, one day being back. Um, There's a nice vibe between the guys, um, enjoying every moment. Um, so, yeah, every day is a pleasure coming into work, I must say. It's, uh, it's, it's really good to be back. Well, the last time you were here, the uh, Lions are still playing Super Rugby, now they're playing URC. There's a lot that has changed. Um, how have you taken the changes since you've come back? Oh well, um, the changes is it's quite it's it's quite uh, spectacular between playing in New Zealand and Australia and um, uh, and playing in Europe is a completely another uh, other game. So luckily, I've been in Europe for a year, so I'm I'm getting I've been used to um, um, playing rugby over there and um, just bringing everything up I've got there, bringing it over here, learning from the guys here, and um, um, just. Yeah, well, enjoying enjoying it. Take us through what you guys are expecting from the pools. I mean, it is um, we had different season seasons now starts in September, but um, it's a XK derby against a pool side that may have forgotten what happened um, at, 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 at DHL Stadium when they lost the final, but will still be hurting over a tournament that they felt they should have won. Yeah, well, um, up, up to the Bulls for for playing the final last year. It's always let's just start over. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's it's well, well done to the Bulls for playing last year in the final. Um, obviously, it's the first game of the year. It's always going to be rusty, and everybody is still finding their groove. So, but we know it's going to be physical, and we also know the Bulls can run the ball. So, um, it, it, this early the season, it's it's difficult to say what to expect. Andres, um, you somebody who, who was here during the glory days of the Lions, and now the the team is, is in a rebuilding phase. Just take us through what your role is as somebody who understands the culture of the team and, and trying to incorporate the youngsters in, into that culture. Yeah, well, it's a it's a give and take for me. Um, I can over, I can also give um, as much as I learned over the years. And um, those days, um, we were all. Um, sorry, guys, I have to start over. Again. <laughs> I was just finding my English words. No, sorry, it's actually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for me, it's it's um, a give and take. Um, what, uh, I give, um, and I also uh, keep on learning. Um, uh, what I learned over the years is, is which, what I can learn for the youngsters, and um, the older guys always um, learning from the youngsters as well. Um, those days, yeah, we were we were we did also do the building phase, and it took a it took a couple of years. And I think that's where the Lions is at the moment. They're also in the building phase, um, building from last year. Um, obviously, all the teams will, will tell you that their target is to be, uh, reach the quarterfinals, and I believe, oh, well, I know it's, it's it's our it's our target as well. So um, we can only take it day by day, week by week, and um, yeah, and learn from each other. With the guys that you are playing with, are you impressed with the young talent? That's here? Yeah, well, the young the, the talent um, impressed me, but the guys as as person persons impressed me um, even more. So. Um, if, if, if you're a good guy and you have a, you have a talent and you stay grounded, that that's, uh, tells quite a lot about your character. And um, that's what I've um, um, uh, experienced here. And particularly this being a rebuilding phase for you guys, how important is it to get your rebuilding journey off to a winning start? Yeah, well, it's very important uh, um, for us. And um, obviously, we uh, in, uh, next week we're going uh, overseas, so we're... And it's a home game, so it's it's, it's quite a bit. It's, a, it's a, a big game for us, and we all know that home games are the games you have to win, um, especially if you want to reach the quarterfinals um, or the, yeah, the quarterfinals. So um, yeah, the f- first couple of games are going to be uh, very important for us. Andres, uh, just to go back to the the, the young side that uh, the Lions are putting out to you now, coming as a more senior player, have you been asked or, or have you taken on a leadership role within this team now? Yeah, well, like I said, um, I won't say I've, I've, I've taken like a leader leadership uh, role um, as per se, but um, I've, I've, I've been helping where I can and what I've learned over the years. So 
um, just uh, putting a posi positive vibe into into the group. It's it's much important for me. And then uh, regarding your your own game, uh, how would you say it has evolved since you've left and come back? Because back when Super Rugby days, you were quite an attacking fullback, and you could uh, bust a good run or two. But you also had a nice boot on you. How, how, how have you evolved that game? Yeah, well, um, you you learn a couple of different things overseas. Uh, obviously, safety is one of the one of the main things you have to learn um, overseas as a fullback. So, I like to put that also into my into my game. Um, but I also would like still to be able to do the running and um, and the kicking game. So, involving keep on working every week, every day. So um, those things doesn't fade away. And um, try to learn what you. Um, try to put in what you learn um, overseas. If you can maybe just give us a bit of an insight of what your game plan is going to be tomorrow. What is, without giving away the, the, the keys now, obviously, to the castle, <laughs> what, is, uh, what, is, what is expected from you yeah. tomorrow uh, as the senior player in the back yeah, line? Well, for me, it's about serving the team and um, putting my, my team on the front foot. Everything I do um, will be to put the team on, on the front foot. And um, if something uh, happens out of that, uh, by all means, that will be great. But um, being safe from the back and putting my team on the, on the front foot will be great for me. And I think, uh, friend from my side, the Lions did start the tournament well last year, but faded. I mean, as did most of the South African teams when they were travelling. So how important would it be to, one, uh, maintain consistency through the season and also do better overseas as compared to what the South African teams do when they travel last season? Yeah. Um, so yeah. So obviously, last year was the, f the first first year for all the South African teams playing overseas. So I think they learned about a lot of out of out of that, um, and we will take it into this year. Just keep on building on the on the team culture. And know what to expect overseas. Playing also new teams overseas away from home will be be quite different. But we know at least what to expect. And I think just in enough to what you're expecting from the balls in your opening. Uh we are well, from the Bella of Verwachtungs, obviously, a physische. How can I get off the car? Yeah, don't do it in Engels. Obviously, in Engels. Okay. Ja, yeah, van die bille af verwag ons dat dit gaan fysisch wees. Ons weet, hulle kan ook met die bal hardloop en hulle het, hulle het altijd een goeie uh, skopvoet op 10 en op 15. Um, so, uh, dit gaan een interessante dag wees. Obviously, dit is die eerste game van die seizoen, so ek geloof allemaal gaan of ek die mekaar uitvoel. Um, maar ons weet, ons weet, dit gaan een fysische uh, battle wees. Dank jy, hulle. Dank jy, my dank jy. Dank jy.